Hi everyone. Good evening. So we'll start session in uh, two minutes.
Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Microsoft Power BI training. Uh, this is Lakshmi. Okay, so I have a eight years of experience as a BI developer. Currently, uh, we are using Power BI in our organization, and previously I worked on ClickWe, ClickSense, and uh, Tableau. These BI tools. Okay, so uh, in current situation, like uh, most of the organizations are shifting to Power BI, that's why we have a very uh, huge demand for Power BI developers. So yes, so let's start today's session. Before starting a session, uh, it's good to see all of you in this session. Okay, so uh, before moving into our session, I just want to share a few details about it. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me share my screen. So let me know whether you guys are able to see uh, or able to see my screen or not. Let me enable chat. Please give me confirmation whether you guys are able to see my screen or not. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Kartik, for the confirmation. So today we are starting Microsoft Power BI uh, session. So every day it is going to be 5.30 to 6.30 IST. And runner will be Lakshmi. It's myself. And course fee 5,900, I think. So you guys are already aware about it. The duration of the course is four weeks, okay? And the second thing is, so you can see here few contacts details. You can reach out them about any, like, you know, any queries, concerns, if you have, you can reach out uh, uh, support team or else you can call these numbers. I'll share these numbers and the links in chat. So you can uh, keep it with you. If any uh, information required, you can reach out us. Okay, so these are our, this is our website. Okay, Logic Lab Technologies www.logiclabtechnologies. You can log in this uh, link, so you can get uh, know all the like you know uh, updates uh, about codes and all those things you'll get to know. Okay, we have a Telegram uh, and Facebook, YouTube, Instagram links as well here in LinkedIn, so you can uh, sus subscribe that, so you will get our uh, latest updates. Okay, so let's start today's session. I'll share uh, those links with you guys. Let me share that. <clears throat> so I'm placing here all the links and contact details. Okay, keep it with you. This will help a lot when you have some concerns, queries or something like that. You can reach out immediately. Okay, so before starting our Power BI session, I just want to know, like, you know, how many of you know about, like, you know, definitely while we are uh, uh, taking some new technology or something like that, we do some research, right? What it is, how it is in the market and how, uh, how we can uh, sustain it with that, something like that. Definitely we do those things, right? So let's uh, please raise your hands who are like, you know, uh, uh, to understand like you know how much knowledge you have on power bi or something like that to understand it just raise your hand i'll uh, unmute i'll ask you to unmute yourself unmute yourself and then uh just discuss about what is power bi first before starting the session okay please raise your hand i can see and then i'll uh, allow you to unmute yourself so what is power bi if you know please raise your hands Whatever it is, it's not like exact definition. I'm not looking for it. Okay. Please raise your hands. Then I'll allow you guys to unmute. I didn't see any hand raise here. Definitely you guys did some research on it before joining into the, like, you know, any technology. No? No. <laughs> I didn't see any hand raise. Please feel free to talk 
then only we can learn more. Okay. Still, I didn't see any hand rise. Just what is BI first? You can use some reactions here, no? For hand rise. Yeah. Luckily, I can see one hand rise. Let me see who is that. Yes, Sam. Good evening. How are you? Unmute yourself, Sam. Now you got some pop up on your screen. Just unmute it. Oh, I don't know what happened. Okay, let me try with the other guy. Yusuf? Hiya. Hey, hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, doing good. Thank you. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I don't know about anything about Power BI. Overall, mm -hmm. I can see the business integration, providing mm -hmm. support solution, mm -hmm. data analyst. Okay. Are you also doing the development on this one or not? Just the presentation of the data analyst, how you are going to be doing? Uh, we are working as a BI developers. BI developers, in the sense, it's like, you know, a business intelligence, right? BI means. Yes. So we are giving some reports to the uh, clients and all. Okay. Yeah. So are you yeah, aware about BI or how it is? No, power development, power BI developer. Power BI developer. Are you having a covering in this course or not? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right then, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm having zero no worries. Knowledge. No worries. No worries. Okay. You'll get the knowledge on it once uh, we started the session. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. Sam, please feel free to talk. Okay. Then only we can learn more and more. Sam, still you're not. Yeah, I didn't see any hand rise. Please raise your hands to understand, like, you know, how much knowledge you have on Power BI. Knowledge in the sense, I'm not looking for the technical knowledge. Okay, I just, what is meant by Power BI? What it is? Why we joined here? Okay, to understand that only. So can I pick someone? Because you guys are not rising hand, no? So let me pick someone. I'll go with Karthik. Karthik, now you are allowed to talk. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Ahmad? Yeah, hi. Hey, hi, Ahmad. Yes, yeah, how, are, how you? are you? Yeah, all well, all well. Uh, see, uh, the I didn't work on the Power BI, but the mm -hmm. Power BI, I know that is, uh, you know, like the database related, which is the reports related, like let's say example, can build the reports, different department wise, different, you know, sector wise to, you know, display the result to the management to see there is a way, where the growth is going on. <clears throat> yes, exactly. So that, that is a purpose we have Power BI here. So yeah. what is meant by BI first? Is uh, Power BI, BI full, is Microsoft. Yeah, full business form. intelligence. Yes, by uh, name itself, we can understand it's a business intelligence. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thanks, uh, Amit. Uh, great to hear you. Those words from your end. So yeah, let me pick someone. Hari. Feel free to talk, yeah. Then only we can learn more and more. If you are idle, then after completing our course also, you will be idle only. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. I'm audible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm new to the Power BI. Mm -hmm. So as for my understanding, like Power BI is a data visualization tool mm -hmm. where we need to analyze the data as per the business requirement. So based on that, we'll be delivering to the client. Yes, exactly. Thanks, Harry. That's my Thanks understanding. The... Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true. Your understanding is correct. And you uh, have you did any research on it before joining uh, uh, into our course? Like, you know, what is meant by power? How it will help to us? 
what is the like you know how the market for power bi developers and all uh, no not much currently you are working or how it is yes so yeah currently and which technology as a so i am working into data warehousing okay yeah. mm -hmm. back end developer uh no into the testing okay. data warehousing testing yeah Oh, so we okay, use okay. mainly this uh, data stage informatica so mm -hmm. i want to upgrade into the reporting also that's the reason oh okay okay good good thanks hari yeah, thanks for the information yeah so anyone any one of you guys want to talk about power bi okay uh, i didn't see Ahmed and uh, Syed, you guys can hand raise. Like, you know, you guys already raised a hand. So I think so. I talked with you already. You can. Oh, okay. Next one is. Okay, that's fine. So now we got to know some information about uh, what is BI, right? So if you have our uh, 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 colleagues mentioned that uh, it's a visualization tool. Yes, it's a visualization tool. It, it will help us to understand business. It's true. Okay. The thing which I already mentioned, no, that's for the purpose of Power BI. And before starting a Power BI session, I just want to understand how many of you know SQL? Please raise your hand, then I can understand how many of you know SQL. Why? Because based on the majority, I'm going to take a basic SQL classes as well in this session. Can see just four hand raise. Okay, no worries. So we are going to cover SQL as well. Why? Because SQL is bit not like you know, uh, bit knowledge on SQL is required for Power BI. Why? Because we have to write a queries to pull data into Power BI. Okay, so no worries. So we we are going to learn SQL as well in this session. The basic stuff, which like you know, uh, the level of. Uh, uh, understanding how we can get the data from SQL, like a databases and all those things we are discussing here. So let's start uh, understanding the what is mean by Power BI first. Okay. Yeah. So what is BI? BI is a business intelligence tool. So it is a visualization tool, as we already mentioned. It helps a lot for the business to understand where we are, how we are, and what need, like you know, what steps needs to be taken further. It will help us. Okay. So understanding the business is very important, whether it is small business or medium business or bigger business, whatever it is. We should know, right? How healthy our business. We should understand. So for that, we need something, right? So usually reading data in Excel. And reading data in a visual per, uh, visualization wise, it's a lot of different. By seeing the visuals, we can understand, okay, this is what our business. By seeing the data also, we can understand, but it will take a lot of time. Correct. So time is very, very, very important. Correct. Time is very important because we have just 24 hours per day. So we have to do a lot of things. If we spend six hours on data only, like uh, sitting idly in front of system and uh, reading the Excel files, no. It's not going to be help you anything. It will help, but it take a lot of time. So that's why we have a business intelligence tool. Uh, so right now we are discussing about the Power BI, which is a Microsoft product. Okay. So let's talk about uh, uh, how it will help. Uh, how it will help. What it is going to be. So it is. It will help us to analyze our data, our business. Correct. Business is data. Correct. So related to our business. Whatever data is there, we are pulling that and then understanding the how it is, uh, how growth it is and all those things. So it will help us to analyze. Power BI is not only for the Power BI developers. Okay. So as a data engineer, yes, if we know BI, it will help a lot because you can understand easily your data flow and all those things. You can create your own reports, how data flow is uh, uh, flowing from one ERP system to another ERP system. Okay, what is the difference? Uh, like, you know, uh, rows, or, rows or something like that. So we can discuss all those things. As a data engineer, yes, BI is help you. As a data analyst, yes, BI is help you. Okay, 
So let's talk about the uh, what type of analysis we can do with the Power BI. Okay, the first one is descriptive analysis. So descriptive analysis in the sense, what has happened? So till now we discuss about it. What happened to our business? Means for example, uh, today we have a uh, Amazon in our market, right? So Amazon is there. So all the products we are getting immediately like within 24 hours or three days, four days within delivery we are receiving. So to understand how quickly we are delivering the products to the end customer. To understand this, the Power BI will help, right? What has happened? So based on, for example, so as per today, like until now, whatever data is there in Amazon uh, uh, databases, we are pulling the data and checking what is the uh, like estimation delivery, okay? How quickly we are delivering. It will help, right, to tell you, uh, to understand. That is called descriptive analysis. What has happened till now? Okay, the second thing is diagnostic analysis. Few, uh, say, like, you know, few delivers are got delayed. For example, estimation date, to, within two days, they said it is going to be delivered. Okay, but it took almost three to four days. Such a scenarios, so we can understand, right? Uh, for example, by seeing the screen itself, we can understand, okay, this product is delivered two days late. What happened? So we are going back and checking what is the cause for it. Okay, so here also it is helping. And the next one is predictive analysis. Predictive analysis means what will happen? Like we are assuming, okay, uh, so that product is not available maybe. So that's the reason it is, it is, it got delayed. That is one, sen uh, one scenario. The second scenario, maybe uh, transportation is got delayed. So something like that, we can understand our data. Okay. Next one is prescriptive analysis. What action needs to be taken? Prescriptive analysis in the sense. So what action needs to be? So we know how our business with the descriptive analysis. The second one is diagnostic analysis. Uh, what it happened. So uh, sorry, why it happened. Okay, why delivery got delay? We understand. And what will happen? So this also, we predict, We can predict, right? Okay, this might cause, this might cause something like that. We can predict. And so based on these three analyses, so we can take an action on it. So next time it is not going to be repeat. Okay, these are the causes. We'll take, a, take care of it. Something like that we can do. Okay, the next one is, Power BI is a business intelligence tool which help us extracting raw data. So it is a ETL, okay, ETL in the sense extracting raw data. T means transforming data. A means analyzing data, okay. S means sharing the data, analyzing data, sharing data. So Power BI is a ETL tool. Power BI is a ETL tool and we can visualize the data and we can share those reports with the customers. Customers in the sense, your clients. Okay, stakeholders. So what is now we got to know what is meant by Power BI? What is Power BI? How it will help in our business? Okay, any questions, concerns, please raise your hand till here. So this is very important. First, we know basic. We should know basic. Then only, then only we can go further steps and then we can understand easily, step by step. Power BI is not only a visualization tool, it is an ETL tool as well. There itself, we can do all the transform. We can extract the data into Power BI. We can do the transformations. We can load the data. It's not only a visualization tool, it's an ETL tool as well. Uh, I, I I mentioned before, like, you know, before starting, starting our session, few BI tools, click view, click sense, tableau, these things, right? So these three also BI tools, but it's not possible to do, like, you know, it's not ETL tool. It's just we can load the data and then we have to write it in, uh, uh, like, you know, SQL code for the transformation and then we have to do. But in Power BI, we can do transformation by using the options which are available in Power BI itself. Okay, clear? Any questions, concerns, please raise your hand. So I can see here, science, 
still do it. Okay, Jahnavi. Jahnavi, now you are allowed to talk. Please unmute yourself. Hi, actually, Jahnavi here. Hey, hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, yeah. I'm totally from a non-tech background. So I mm. just wanted to switch to the technical one. Okay. So I just uh, thought like Power BI will be a good platform to make a new career with the technical. Yes, so you are correct. How do you uh, recommend me like... Uh, how good this platform to get into it? Like uh, as a non-tech to technical, how good it is for me to shift it? Yes, Jahanavi. So as you mentioned, you are technical, non-technical background, right? So Power BI will help you to enter into IT uh, sector. Like, you know, uh, it's not required a much technical knowledge like coding and all. Okay. If you know how to use your mobile. Okay. If you know how to use computer. Then it's a similar way Power BI also. Already all the options are existed. We, we should know what option we have to use, what needs to be used in the situations. That's it. Okay. It's it's a very easy tool. Like uh, uh, if you know how to use your mobile easily, then Power BI also is similar. Okay. And coding knowledge bit is required, which we are going to discuss in our session. SQL, I mentioned, right? So SQL is required. Why? Because we are not pulling always data from CSV file or Excel or some somewhere, uh, some other uh, ERP tools. We are using databases to pull data into Power BI. So in that time, we need some coding knowledge. It's a bit knowledge is required. So like, you know, about joins, how we can uh, create, uh, how we can uh, match multiple tables into one table, something like that. So we are going to discuss those things. Don't worry. So it will help a lot. You took the right path. Okay. So uh, as a non-technical guy, yes, it is very easy to enter into a uh, technical side. So as a non, I mean, the one which I've chose like Power BI, mm -hmm. do we get the opens only for the Power BI based on or you need to like... No, you have to add a SQL as well. That will add on. That's why I'm taking SQL class as well in this session. SQL and Power BI, you have to mention, okay, as a three years experience or two years, this will enough. As a fresher also, this much knowledge is enough. But if you are going to add a five or six years experience as a BI developer, then you have to add other tools as well. As you know, like, you know, if we enter into IT sector, then we have to learn always, like, you know, it's learning is has to going on because every day market is updating with the new technologies, right? Yeah, yeah. So relevant technologies we have to update, but entering into IT, yes, it this will help a lot. Okay, so once you enter, yeah, once you enter into the organization. Power BI is enough. Mm. Like yes. as a pressure or one or two. Yes, 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 yes. SQL and Power BI is enough. Okay, let me, okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. So till now, uh, any questions here? So we talked about descriptive analysis, diagnostic analysis, predictive analysis, prescriptive analysis. So if you have a general questions, like, you know, how Jahanavi asked. So for that, I'll segregate five minutes time in the last session, uh, uh, in the last, okay, we can talk about it. If you have any questions and concerns on the PPT, the one which we are discussing, yes, you can raise your hands. We can talk here itself. Okay. Sandeep? Sandeep, now you are allowed to talk. Okay, no problem. Let's move into the next slide. I don't know what happened for my PPT. It's not taking, it's not moving into next page. Okay, so as I mentioned in market, we have a many BI tools, not only uh, the things which I mentioned, there are other BI tools as well. Why Power BI is a leader in market? Because it has a monthly updates of new features, always evolving means. So Microsoft is taking uh, like, you know, requirements from the developers. As a developer, we can post, micro, post to the Microsoft, like, you know, in community. So this feature, good to have in Power BI, the one which is not available right now in the Power BI. 
so we can post that in our community so that if we get a majority of votes for that uh, request microsoft will pick and then it will try to develop in the uh, power bi and it will release the coming month uh, uh, updates so that's how it is it's not one time build package and then releasing into the market every month we have we are going to have a some updates updates in the sense like uh, for mo our mobiles also will get a update your mobile new features are added something like that right in the same way okay the second thing is easy to perform etl data modeling as i mentioned it's not only visualization tool it's a etl tool as well so interactive reports yes we can easily uh, select whatever we want and we can see the data. So interactive reports in the sense you can understand once we enter into the Power BI completely. You can see someone noise here. Who's that? Yeah, Jahnabi, please mute yourself. <clears throat> so sharing report easily. Yes, once we build the reports, once we build the reports, we are not, as a developer, we are going to develop our reports and we are not keeping with us. We are not just uh, showcasing in our system and then keeping with us. It's not like that. We are sharing those reports with the stakeholders, with our customers, okay? All of them. Easily we can share. So that's why it is very uh, popular in our market, okay? It's a leader. So large community. As I mentioned, we have a Microsoft Power BI community. And whatever questions you have, you can post there. We can get a answers, okay? We can receive a, some uh, answers. And if you have any uh, request to the Microsoft Power BI, yes, we can post there. And then uh, if a lot of people are looking for the same future, yes, they will vote for it. And based on the majority, they are picking and then developing the those features. So leader in the market. As I mentioned, Power BI is a leader in market with the market uh, because of these are all features and it's a very easy tool okay as a uh, even though if you guys are a non-technical background it's a very easy to uh, understand like you know it's just uh, using like a mobile only it's not a difficult okay you should know how it will help business that's it if you know that then it's a very easy tool okay so you can see here on the screen okay microsoft tableau click ClickSense and ClickView both are from Click. Okay, those are uh, BI tools. You can see here. So Tableau is the second place and third place ClickView. Microsoft is a leader in a business. Okay. So till now we can understand uh, what, what is the importance of Power BI, right? In the market, why it is leader. So we have a Power BI versions. It's like a desktop version, Power BI service. Power BI Service Pro. So Power BI Service is free and pro. Both are there. Okay. So we can understand here with this slide. So desktop version, what we can do. Power BI Service, what we can do. Power BI Service Pro, what we can do. Let's talk about it. Okay. Transform data, build, model, write, logics and calculations. So these are all things we can do in desktop version, which we can download from Microsoft website. Okay, we can download it, it's a free. And we can do, these are all things, transform data, build model, write logic, and calculation. These things we can do in desktop version. This is for developer. Desktop version is a is for developer, okay? Connect to on-prem data sources. Yes, we can connect databases whether using some data connections, okay? Connect to online data source. Yes, we can connect ERP systems, SharePoint, OneDrive, all the things we can connect with the desktop. But these things are not possible in Power BI service. You can see here, we uncheck this, right? So it's not possible. But connect to online data source is possible in Pro. Like uh, we, we have a, uh, before it is data sets, Power BI data set, Power BI data flow, something like that we have. So instead of data flow, now it's added fabric. Okay, so build reports. Yes, we can build report in desktop version as well. We can build reports in Power BI Service free version. We can build reports in Power BI Service Pro as well. Build report in the sense creating a visuals. We can do it in online. These two are online. The desktop version is in our local system. Okay, build dashboards. Dash Building dashboards is not possible in desktop version. Okay, 
in Power BI Service Free and Pro, yes, it is possible. Okay, apps and workspace collaboration. It is possible only in Pro version. Pro version in the sense, it's a paid version. That's it. There is much, uh, like, you know, a few things we can do with the free version, few things, like most of the stuff we can do with the Pro version. Okay, the next one, share, connect with others. So as I mentioned, we are building our reports, desktop version, uh, and then we are publishing that into Power BI service, and we can share those reports with the Pro version only. It's not possible with the desktop version. It's not possible with the free version. Okay, you can share PPIX file, like how we are sharing uh, Word documents, PPT, and all those things. You can share in that way, the desktop version but not the service like a web link. Okay, that is possible only with the pro version. So price you can see here 9.90 per month. Okay, so there is a seven pillars of Power BI. So let's talk about uh, each pillar. Okay, the first one is extract. So extract in the sense we are going to connect to the multiple sources and we are extracting data from different sources like SQL database, like Azure, SharePoint, OneDrive, some ERP systems, ANA plan, and uh, uh, there will be like uh, SAP connections. There are many data connections are available. Okay, in Power BI, we can connect multiple data connection, uh, multiple sources. Okay, so we are connecting those sources and we are extracting required data from different sources. So the, this is the first pillar. The second one is transform. So always we are not going to get the uh, required data. Like, you know, uh, it's not like always we are not going to get a required data in the sense like business based on the business requirement. It's not like that. We are going to get the raw data from different sources. We have to do some data masses. It's called transform. Okay. We have to convert data into based on our business requirement that is called transform these transformations we can do it in if we know sql we can do it with a sql like writing coding and all okay if you don't know that then we can use our power bi options which are available in power query editor we can use that and we can modify we can do transformations in power bi itself that's why I mentioned it's not mandatory to know SQL for Power BI. With the existing options also, we can do that. But it's good to have a SQL knowledge. It will add on into your resume. Okay. Nowadays, any technology, whatever you are going, or like, you know, SQL is good to have. Okay. That's the reason I added SQL portion also, basic SQL portion also into this. Okay. The third pillar is modeling. Yes, data modeling. We're not going to work always with one table or two tables or something like that. One or two tables, fine, you can work, we can match and then we can do that. It's not possible. Sometimes we have to work multiple tables, like a 20 tables, 15 tables, something like that. We have to load from the different data sources and we have to keep a relationship between the tables and we have to identify the keys something like that we have to, that is called modeling. Modeling in the sense, giving relationship between the tables based on the requirement. It's not like a simply give the relationship between the table. It's not like that. If it is required, give the relationship between the table and use that data into Power BI. Okay, this we are doing in modeling tab. Okay, transformations we are doing in Power Query Editor. Modeling we are doing in modeling tab. Okay, the next one is calculations. Still, after doing some transformations also, we have to do some calculations in front end, for example. So we have a sum of sale amount. Sales amount is there, a customer wise sale amount is there. So that data we are getting from database. In uh, front, like you know, uh, stakeholder come back and they ask, I want to know previous year sales. Okay, you can say select last year. You can see the last year sales. No, it's not like that. You shouldn't give a suggestions like that. What you have to do? You have to give a previous sales in one column and the current sales in one column. 
then only they can easily easily understand the okay last year okay this much we have sale for this customer okay this year this much we have something like that they can understand. for that that is a purpose to uh, bi okay power bi to understand previous sales and current sales not only sales any business okay so such a calculations we have to do in front end in power bi report okay the next pillar is visualization so visualization is uh, that's what the purpose of Power BI, right? Visualization is uh, like, you know, based on the business requirement, based on the client requirement, we are creating uh, some visualization to understand the business and we are providing that reports to the stakeholders. Okay, the last pillar is distribution. Sorry, uh, sixth pillar is distribution. So distribution in the sense, okay, we did the extract, we did the transformations, we did the modeling and with the calculation, visualization, everything is done. So till visualization, we are doing all five pillars in desktop version. Okay, all five pillars we are doing in desktop version. From sixth pillar, we are entering into Power BI service. So it's not possible with a desktop to share those reports with a distributor. Okay, uh, like, you know, customers or clients, something like that. It's not possible with Power BI service. After developing our uh, reports, we are publishing that into Power BI service and we are sharing those reports with the users. Okay, the last one is automation. So automation is very, very important nowadays. Why? Because in every technology, we are hearing this word, right? Automation, automation, automation. What is meant by automation? So... We load the data today and we did all the transformation, calculations, everything done, report is ready. Okay, we share with the uh, stakeholders. Always are they checking only that data? No, right. Every day it has to update. So tomorrow again it has to refresh. Take new, new data and then show that data into visualization. Correct. So for that automation is required. It's not like, okay, anyways, I'm there, no developer. I can refresh in my local system. I'll publish so you can see the data. No, it's not like that. We have to automate that. We have to schedule our reports. So monthly or weekly or something like that, we have to schedule. Daily, okay, we have to schedule. So this schedule part is going to be happening in Power BI surveys. Okay, any questions, concerns still here? Please raise your hands. The basic is very important to understand because once you uh, uh, like you know attend interviews, they will ask about what is meant by Power BI, what are all the seven pillars of Power BI. So these are basic questions will come. I can see hand raise. Sandeep, now you are allowed to talk. Yeah. Hi, Sandeep. Hi, hi. Hey, hi. Yes, I still don't have any doubts actually. I have mm -hmm. knowledge I'm a little bit uh, obey doubly like that business intelligence tools. So Which tool you yeah obey doubly actually. Okay. So I've done that. But I love working in uh, only SQL part only. Mm -hmm. Some types of report generation also. Actually, okay. my company is really it is the power bi also. Yeah. Most of the that. companies are shifting yeah. into power bi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the reporting purpose. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's uh, easy to build. It's easy yeah. to share. It's very handy, actually. Yeah. So that's the reason. I'll do it in our section. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yes, Janavi. Lakshmi, can you just explain a bit about the distribution part? Yeah, distribution is nothing but we build the reports, right? We have to share those reports with the users. That is what the distribution. Okay. So we have to publish the reports into Power BI service and share those reports with the clients. Okay. To understand their business. So for clients only we are working, right? Based on their request only, we are building all the reports and we are creating the uh, visualization based on the request. Like, you know, monthly sales or yearly sales they want to see or country-wise sales they want to see, something like that. So, they requested and that. And is just kind of like sharing the report, the end report to the clients. Yes, that's it's what I told you. That's what I mentioned. Yeah. No? So, sharing the reports with the clients. Thanks. Okay. 
Okay. This, so this will happen with a Power BI service only and the to Pro version. <clears throat> okay. Clear? Okay. So, Chaudhary, I can see hand raised from your end. Hey, good, good, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm able to hear you. Okay, thank you. So, um, oh, sorry. Good afternoon for you guys. <laughs> um, so, um, as far as automation, all the way up to the automation, you're going to be training us all the way up to that point, correct? I mean, yes. Uh, yes. as far as this course, if I would take this course at this point, you will train us all the way to A through pretty much A through Z, correct? Yes, yes, it's true. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So So let's move into the next slide. So Power BI Desktop, we talk about Power BI Desktop, right? So what we can do in Power BI Desktop? So we already discussed about it, like the seven pillars. First five pillars we are doing in Power BI Desktop. So how we can do? So Power BI Desktop is a prepare, prepare in the sense, we can connect multiple data sources and we can load the data, okay? And we can do some ETL process. So that's what the prepare means. So in Power BI Desktop, we can connect multiple data sources and we can load the data from different sources. We can do transformation based on our uh, business requirement and we can load that data into Power BI. So till this part, we are doing this in Power Query Editor. It's not a different tool. It is with a Power BI desktop along with that. Okay, it's not a different tool which we need to install or something like that. Okay, explore create model. So creating a model, as I said, so we can we have a three tabs here. One is report tab in a desktop version, data tab and model tab. Okay, so in model tab, we are giving a relationship between the tables. If we are working multiple tables, yes, if it is required, then only we are giving a relationship between the table and uh, using the data into a report tab. Okay, we have a uh, definitely we'll get a uh, one interview question from this. Uh, how many tabs we have in Power, Power, uh, Power BI Desktop? So one is report tab, data tab, and model tab. Okay, so once we loaded data into Power BI from desktop, uh, Power Query Editor into Power BI Desktop, then only we can see all the tables in modeling tab and data, like, you know, data tab in a sense, it's like an Excel. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, uh, like you know in the next sessions how it looks on doll okay so till now uh, we're just going through with the overview of it okay report tab as i mentioned we are creating all the visualization here in the report tab okay so like this and publish so publish is going to be happening power bi survey so we build the report still here and we are publishing reports into Power BI surveys. So this publish option also is available in Power BI desktop itself. There we have a publish option. Click on publish option. It will ask which workspace you have to publish on not. So don't worry. We'll discuss in depth in the next sessions. Okay. Any questions still here? So we are clear with the Power BI desktop, right? So I can see hand raise. Sandeep? Sandeep, you are allowed to talk now? No, 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 no. Okay, so what is so Lola? Yeah, uh, thank you for calling me. I do have a quick question. Yes. Uh, so regarding the program, so mm -hmm. let's say I'm missing class or something. Do you have recorded videos uh, that you provide after the class? Yes, we are recording these sessions and even this PPT also will share with you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Great. recordings you, and uh, recordings and PPTs are uh, going to like you know first three days 
uh, sessions mm -hmm. are publishing into YouTube channel. So I shared with you guys already YouTube channel link. You can access okay. that and then you can uh, go through with that. And the second thing is, so first three sessions are publishing in YouTube. But the from fourth sessions, we are uploading in our uh, website. You can access okay. that and you can download those uh, PPT. Okay. Not download, you can go through with that. The recordings and, and the uh, PPTs. Every okay, day, every day I'm providing the note, whatever we are discussing in our class. That will help for your interviews and for your practice. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So any questions, Lola? Uh, that's it. That's yes. it. That's it. You answered my question. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So... Ashir, yes, Ashir Chaudhary. Uh, so a quick question. Um, as far as the practice wise, you know, mm -hmm. uh, are we going to be practicing something downloading on our desktop or is this something going to be uh, on the cloud that we can practice this BI through? No, this Power BI desktop is available. We have to download. This is a desktop version. It's a free version. We can download from Microsoft website. In tomorrow's session, I am going to show you uh, how we can download the Power BI desktop. Okay. The link I'll share with you guys or else you can go Microsoft Power BI, like, you know, Power BI desktop download, something like that. You can type, you can, you'll get it. Okay. You can download that version. And okay. it is going to be monthly. There will be slight updates will be there. It will get automatically updated into your uh, Power BI desktop version. No need to download every month. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Um, this is well kind of related to it, but um, I know you talked about SQL, which I don't have great knowledge of it. It's been a while. Um, and I was wondering that after the BI session, are you, your team is preparing to have another class on SQL in the future or anything like that? Yeah, there are uh, SQL sessions as well. But in this session, in Power BI session itself, I'm going to cover basic knowledge, which is required for Power BI. As a Power BI developer, we are going to discuss about it. Okay. So the basic right. knowledge, yes, we are uh, uh, going to discuss on SQL. Okay. Don't worry about it. But if you want to know in depth, so we, we are going to conduct some sessions for SQL separately. So you can access that. Then, yes, join those uh, classes. All right. It's good to have a SQL knowledge. It's an add-on. It's, it's, it's a mandatory, actually. So basic knowledge is mandatory for Power BI developer. I see. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So if you know in-depth knowledge on SQL, it's a very good. And uh, you, you can work as a, like, you know, back-end developer also. It's not only front-end developer. Power BI developer is a front-end developer. Okay. If you know SQL, uh, for example, you join an organization, they have some uh, requirement like a back-end uh, developer as well. So if you know in-depth knowledge on SQL, yes, you can ship there as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions, concerns? We have a seven minutes. It's not only about the subject. If you have any general questions, yes, we can talk now. Please raise your hand. If you talk more, then only we can learn more. Okay. It's good to ask a questions. It will help others as well. I can see. Tomorrow... You. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Yep, yep. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I'm sure. Okay. You. Sorry. Yes. Uh, so tomorrow when you when you show us, uh, yeah, if you could give us a demo as to how to download. Uh... Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. I'm okay. Ready. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> what happened, <laughs> but yeah, um, when you download the the software, can you Please give us the step-by-step -step process and show us uh, on this on this uh, course tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Just sure. in case, like because sometimes we run into issues and sometimes I have errors. And no, don't worry. Know. It's not required any other uh, packages to download actually. So as I already have in my system, uh, I'll I'll try to show you. I'll just open the link. I'll show you how to download. It's not required any like you know n number of steps. It's just one step. 
download that and install that's it okay just try today if you have any questions for this tomorrow session we can we can talk about it okay if you have any uh like you know installation issues or something try today let's see okay so just go to microsoft power bi type it yeah. in google and just download yes okay. yes power bi uh, uh, desktop version or uh, download something like that you can do it will take you into microsoft version uh, website okay you can download that all right thank you try today if not we can check tomorrow okay thank you yeah sam yeah, hello. Hi. Yes, sir. Tell me. Do you have any questions? I see your hand raised. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, um, I'm from the cloud environment side. So mm -hmm. um, I'm into the like uh, this uh, data warehousing technologies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm planning to learn. Yeah. But uh, yeah, somewhere you mentioned like a report on like a, uh, what is that? Sorry. Sorry, Sam. Your voice is breaking. I'm not able to hear you. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yes. I'm yeah. Ready. Somewhere, like you mentioned, like a build reports and build dashboard. What is the difference in that? Yeah. So reports is like you know we are loading data and doing all the transformations and creating the reports based on a business requirement. Correct. So dashboard also same, but that is we are doing in Power BI service. Okay. It has a one page view, but in report, we are going to have a multiple pages. Okay. In dashboard, we are going to have a one page view and which is going to be get the visuals from different hardware reports. So don't worry. We have one session separately for this and I'll show you what is the difference and how, what is like, you know, how we can use dashboard, or how we can use the reports in what scenarios we are going for dashboards, what scenario we are going for the reports. Okay. Yeah. So it's a one page view dashboard in the sense it's a one page view oh okay maybe yeah. the combination of showing into one page right yeah yes maybe like a ppt presentation okay yep okay yeah this one more like a year like a power bi is there any like a trial version or like if you download how many days like that exist without asking any license no this is free version it's not a trial version okay you can download it once and it will be there in your system Means how many days, how many years? There like is no limit. Year? There is no oh, limit. There is no expiry date for this. No. For download. No. Okay. So no but this version will give all full like, access to all application insight or like how it yes. is Yes, if you have access, if you have access for yeah. all the ERP systems or you are working on cloud system, uh, cloud as well, right? Like uh, uh, ADF, Bricks, Azure, Data Bricks. If you have access for those, yes, you can connect, you can load the data. Oh, no, no. Not like a database only, like a remaining application, maybe complete whatever the licensed version we buy, right? Yes, on a, for like example, on a plan. Process. For example, on a plan is there. Yes, if you have access, yes, you can connect for that. With oh, the desktop connect. version itself, yes. Or remaining inside like functions, like when you open the desktop, so some functions will allow like it to work on or like only licensed version only can work on those functions. No, everything will work. Desktop version whatever uh, desktop version completely it's free okay only service oh. version service is a pro version okay as i mentioned in this slide we discuss about it right service, service means what exactly power based service in the sense it's a web view okay which is going oh, to be view. yeah web view we are publishing our reports into website and we are sharing those links with the stakeholders so that version is cost cost involved there Oh, okay, version. free version also there, but there is a limitations. As you asked me, you know, in desktop, do we have any limitations connecting any other, uh, like, you know, data sources yeah. or something like that. So, but Power BI service version, a free version have some limitation. We can't share reports with the users. We can't create our apps. We can't uh, oh. do that. Okay. So, what about it, like you're sharing, like any server installations required or how would you? Server installation is not required as you're already working. I think so your organization already have uh, servers, right? So you can connect those servers and you can pull the data and then work on it. Or else if you want to do it for personally, yes, you can install Power BI, uh, SQL, SSMS. No, no, no. After like designing the dashboards, right? No, not so required. We, 
So okay. we want to publish our inside inbuilt like available inside only, right? No need to server installation separately. No server in installations are not required. Only Power BI desktop installation is required. So once you install that, you can build the reports. Oh. Okay, without any limitations. Okay, you can build your reports and you can publish the report. So here it will come. So publishing the report by default, oh. you are going to have a one workspace, but it's required organization ID to get a one workspace. It is called my workspace. Okay, oh. so you can publish those reports into your workspace and you can oh, build important. the reports over there itself. You can build the dashboard. So that is only for your purpose. It's not oh, uh, like a uh, free version which allow to publish and we can see on the web, yes. right? Oh, yes, okay, in then, website we good. can see. Oh, oh. that's good. Maybe you can build report look on. Like... Yeah, yeah, you can see that. But it's required organization ID. Okay, it won't... ID. Personal ID won't take that one, any Gmail no. something? Or... No, no, no. So oh. suppose if people are working in Gmail company, then then in that case, how it will work? They they are going to have a org ID, right? It's not like a Gmail, like the, the general one which we are using. It's not in that way, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. But this year yeah, you're telling like a four weeks, right? Four weeks, maybe you can like a cover one week is a SQL and all the rest of the three weeks. Maybe you're going to cover advanced topics as well or like how it will like finish within four In weeks. In SQL, we are not going to cover advanced stuff. Yeah. SQL, as I mentioned, it is only basic stuff. Yeah, basic one, but Power BI. Okay, Power BI, yes. Advanced things also. Till now, whatever is there in Power BI. Those uh -huh. things we are discussing. So as I mentioned, every month we are going to have updates, right? So those things yeah. you have to follow. Like, you know, if you access, like, you know, uh, part of community, Power BI community, then you will get the mm -hmm. updates every oh. uh, every month, whatever stuff is there, no? the new things added. You'll get a pop-ups and then you can go through with that. You can learn that, okay? That is required from your end. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. It's just mob using mobile kind of already all the options are existed we have to know which option for what okay so uh, okay will that support like all this once you publish the dashboard right will that support mobile version desktop version yeah. web version like similar way right that yes way? yes oh, okay then good yeah we can see anywhere you can download a power bi in your mobile also you can see all your reports or whatever is there in your workspace uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Good then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you for your information. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Sam. So I can see hand raised from Sai Sai Harsha. Can you share us a demo video? Yes. So first three sessions are going to publish in YouTube. Okay. YouTube channel. I already shared those links. You can go through with that and then you can see that. And once you, like, you know, uh, after five sessions, five sessions are free. So from sixth session, we are going to share a new Zoom link, which is going to be only for paid uh, students. Okay. So okay. they can access all the videos, PPTs, whatever we are discussing in the class. All okay. the notes, everything. Okay, any questions? Okay. Um, let me see. So, okay, good. So, sorry for that. I took three minutes more than the session. Uh, so, I think, I hope this will help you, like, you know, what is Power BI to understand how it is and then how it will help for the business as a, like, you know, to enter into the IT sector, this will help you or not. I think so these things we covered today, okay? It will help you a lot. So let's connect tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye.